trying to open a VM config which has the same UID as an existing virtual machine. When trying to add two VirtualBox virtual machines which have been originally copied, via simple file copy, from the same source, on adding the second one I get the message. Yes, the machine should have been cloned instead of simple file copy, but it is too late at this point. You can use Spox Manage internal command set Druid and LT, D slash VMDK file and GT, run from the VBox install directory to change the HD wood, but this has two shortcomings. It does not update the .VBox file and it does not change the machine wood. I did not find any way to do this with Spox Manage, just the HD wood. The following worked for me, Win7, most recent VirtualBox version. Run Spox Manage internal command set druid and lt d slash vmdk file and gt twice. The first time is just to conveniently generate an uid. You could use any other uid generation method instead. Open the .vbox file in a text editor. Replace the uid found in and lt machine uid equals dot 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 with the uid you got when you ran set druid the first time. Replace the word found in, and lt, hard disk word equals dot dot dot, and in, and lt, image word equals towards the end, with the word you got when you ran set druid the second time. You can add the virtual machine after that. Not a very clean solution, but does not seem to cause any problem. I've found a simpler way to do it. Clone the existing virtual machine. This creates a new version with presumably a new UUID, but in all other respects it is the same machine. Then copy the one you want to add, to your backslash user your name backslash virtual box VMS backslash, or wherever the location is for your virtual machines, and overwrite all the existing files there, to replace the existing machine. I would back up the existing machine first just in case, before doing that, but it worked just fine here. Used it to go back to an earlier backup of a VM while keeping the existing version as a clone. If you are unable to launch due to this error, simply remove the entry from the Oracle VM VirtualBox Manager. This will clear the conflict and you will then be able to open the VM from its new location at that point you can perform a clone if that is what you intend. In my case, no additional effort was required since I know had no further need for the original location of the VM. I realize this is an old post but I ran upon this error. I resolved it by Open VirtualBox Manager. Right click on the virtual machine in the VirtualBox Manager. Click Remove. A pop-up will appear. Choose Remove only which will simply remove all traces of the virtual box from the VirtualBox Manager. Close the VirtualBox Manager. Using the Linux File Manager, browse to the folder containing the virtual machine. Delete or move. Everything except the VMDK virtual hard disk file. Open Virtual Box Manager. Click Machine. Click New. Name the new machine. I use the same name as I originally used. Note, the name of the machine is will become the name of the directory that will contain the virtual machine so choose wisely and also note that if you want the VMDK file to reside in the new directory that it will take additional steps in Virtual Box Manager. Select the proper type and version for the virtual machine that was having the issue and click Next.
Select the memory size you want the virtual machine to have allocated and click Next. Select Use and Existing Virtual Hard Disk File and select it by browsing to its location. Select Create. Simply follow the prompts from there and then start the virtual machine. Everything runs fine, no reactivation of Windows or etc. required. Hi, this is the Egyptian. Please be sure to